Um, at the moment, would you say it's safe for tourists to come and visit Sri Lanka? Uh, well, those who want to have an exciting time could come here and maybe they could uh, even uh, take part in the demonstrations. <laughs> they could hold placards which says for the president of Sri Lanka to go home or you could hold a placard asking the prime minister of your country to go home. All that is option that's available. Let me take this opportunity to appeal to the international community to encourage your people to visit Sri Lanka. We are a pristine country with a beautiful environment. We have immense cultural and historical heritage. We have enormous sources of wildlife, nature resources, natural resources, national parks, and strict natural reserves. So I encourage everyone in the international community, visit our country. Our country is safe to visit. Ignore the travel warnings. Trust us. We are the opposition in the country. We are inviting the international community to visit our motherland and help us out and also enjoy yourselves. Come to the beaches of the east. Come to the beaches of the south, the north, and throughout the country. You can do your surfing. You can do your beach enjoyment activities. You can swim and you can enjoy the sun. So I appeal once again, and I encourage the international community to visit our country, to visit our motherland, and enjoy the peace and tranquility of our motherland. Tourism is an important part of uh, any emerging market's uh, income. It, you're not encouraging people to visit, or, or are you? I mean, I, I, it's a genuine question. We, 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 it's not that we, have, we are not discouraging people from visiting, but we understand with the shortage of foreign exchange and some of the demonstration that is go, going on and the shortage of essentials that they may not visit Sri Lanka at this time.